teachers wanted to show you today how to set up your home page and course navigation in your canvas course there are several ways to set up your navigation on our course East Middle Spartans page we have picture text a YouTube video embedded and we use buttons which are simply pictures that link to a URL or different place in canvas I'm going to demonstrate a couple different ways that people have set up their home pages and hopefully that helps you. My original home page back when I taught AP Chemistry had a nice picture of my class and I kept it pretty simple. Title of the class, name of the instructor, contact information, some quote, and actually you can set up these are a, a list of different assignments that they completed within Canvas. Another teacher I know up at the high school has a, a similar layout, little picture, contact information, a schedule, link to a course syllabus, link to modules, link to textbook online. Another interesting aspect of this page is you can actually add different links to things that you think the kids will use frequently. So here's a link in the navigation bar to the online textbook. Another similar layout, simple text, picture, contact information, and a schedule. Here's a course outline or home page that uses text, picture, link to a syllabus, but now we have buttons that lead to the different modules that will be completed. Lastly, I wanted to show you this home page because there is a way that I'm going to show you to reduce the number of buttons that a student sees on the left side. That is called our course navigation. We want to pipe everything through modules. By limiting the number of choices here on the left, we can streamline your class a little bit more. Stay tuned to, to watch a demonstration on how to set up a home page and change your course navigation. So starting with a brand new course, it kind of looks like this. On the left, there is a navigation bar, we call it, with lots of different options. You can eliminate several of those options so your students can't see those buttons. The advantage to this is that there's less things for the students to click. Here's how. Click Settings. Click Navigation. Starting at the bottom, remove everything that they will not use. We can always put things back. For instance, if you want to put Nearpod back in and integrate Nearpod with Canvas, you can do so. Leave modules, take out quizzes, take out outcomes, syllabus, files, pages, people, leave grades. Discussions is a good one, but we're going to take it out for now. Assignments, announcements. For the most part, we only use home, grades, and modules. And I'll show you why that is shortly. Make sure to hit save. Now it's time to design what my course will look like when the students log in. On the right side, we have a button called Choose Home Page. By selecting the button, there's several options. We can show course modules, which you can think of as units, as the first thing they see. We can have a list of assignments. We can have a syllabus. We can also create a home page, which is grayed out at this moment. I'll show you how to do that next. In order to create a home page, on the left side, click Pages. No pages have been created yet, so add one. Call it Home Page. Think of your home page as a Word document. You can add text, pictures, hyperlinks, and links to other places within your Canvas course. I will release a more detailed video on how to customize your home page. For now, we'll just put Mr. Vickery's course. 
make sure that when you save pages that you publish them as well. We've got one last step to make this our home page. Under the gear, select Use as Front Page. Now, when I click Home, choose Home Page, I can select the page I created for my home page. Now, the first thing that the students will see is the page I just created. In order for students to see your Canvas page, make sure to hit Publish. Now the course is visible to all your students. Look for upcoming videos on how to customize your home page and create modules in the near future. YouTubers, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.